Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and DevOps practice lead. So to continue on our series for front-end code quality improvement. So in this video, we are going to see how to run Jasmine JavaScript unit test with code coverage using Istanbul and Grunt. So we will see how to tweak the, the, the Grunt Jasmine task to, uh, to include the, the code uh, coverage as well using Istanbul NPM or Node Package Management uh, Library and how we see this uh, code coverage result using an HTML or the command line or also the embedded command line task runner inside the Visual Studio. So we will see all of that. So let's see this video. So to run the unit test with code coverage, first I need to install the grunt library or plugin so if we go here this is uh, Istanbul uh, this is a good coverage library so I will just copy that again on the root of the project this will install the Istanbul library And very easily, if I if I went for the change, I can see that this would be on the installed, of course, on the library here. So once I install here, I need to tweak the adjustment test, the adjustment task. I need to tweak that task because I need to embed the Istanbul task inside that, and this is a tricky part. So let's see how we will do that. So I will come after task one inside the Jasmine, which will end this option. This is Jasmine. So option. If this is for task one here, and I will put a comma and put my library. So here I put Istanbul. And then here tweaking that jasmine.task1. So configuring that. This is the this is a source and this is the spec where the jasmine unit testing. And here is the configuration. So let's save that. The task runner should understand now I have jasmine task one and jasmine. Istanbul. So let's run that from the task runner here, command runner. So this should run the unit testing and calculate the good coverage. So as we can see here is the good coverage calculated. Let's run that from the command line. So if I run the same, you know, the same command. Jasmine is pool. This should run the unit testing and calculate the good coverage. So yes, as we can see, this is the good coverage calculated. And because we set here that the coverage is uh, the HTML on here, so if we navigate to the project. I have the coverage, the HTML, and I can open that to see the coverage. So, for example, here is a UI function, and we can see that this is the part that covered, and the red part that is not covered by the good coverage, which of course I need a unit test. I need unit tests to cover these parts. So now we, we saw how to run code coverage, Istanbul code coverage from the Visual Studio command line task runner and also from the command line using npm. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please, if you have any question or you would like to, to know anything, don't hesitate to contact me on my blog, muhammadradwan.com. You can also 
click on the links that will appear on the screen which is including the DevOps guide which is published on the TechNet. This guide includes basic principles about DevOps for people that want to get more familiar about uh, the high level of DevOps. You can also click on the, the related video which is usually is could adding more information for the current video which is appear now on the screen thank you